Hello, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to work on the proof of the derivative of sine function using the definition of derivative. So we need to know a couple of properties of trigonometric functions. One is the sine of um, a plus b equals uh, sine of a times cosine of b plus cosine of a times sine of b okay so these are the this is a property that we need to know so we're going to go ahead and plug in our function y equals y equals sine of x here into the definition of derivative right here so we get a limit as h goes to 0 sine of x plus h minus sine of x over h okay so now i'm going to go ahead and apply this right here and expand this sine of x plus h we get limit as h goes to zero we get sine of x times cosine of h plus cosine of x times sine of h minus sine of x everything divided by h okay so now we go ahead and simplify so we get limit as h goes to zero now we can combine uh, we can bring together the like terms so we can go ahead and bring this sine of x minus uh, times times cosine of h minus this sine of x so i brought the like terms together plus cosine of h cosine of x times sine of h everything divided by h now we get limit as h goes to 0 now we can factor out sine of x from here inside we get cosine of h minus 1 plus cosine of x times sine of h divided by h okay now we can break this uh, into two fractions so we get limit as h goes to zero we get sine of x and cosine of h minus one over h plus cosine of x times sine of h over h okay <coughs> now there are other couple of properties we need to know to solve the limits here so I'm going to write those down. So limit as h goes to 0 of 1 minus cosine of h over h equals 0. And the limit as h goes to 0 of sine of h over h equals 0 now here we have cosine of h minus 1 and here oh, over h here we have 1 minus cosine of h, h over h so we can do a little manipulation here so cosine of h minus 1 equals negative of 1 minus cosine of h okay so now we can go ahead and actually plug negative 1 minus cosine of h here so we get limit as h goes to 0 we get sine of x and for cosine of h minus 1 I'm gonna plug in 
this negative times negative of 1 minus cosine of h and everything divided by h is a negative 1 here and plus this cosine of x times sine of h sine of h over h so now this portion right here is 0 this thing is 0 and this one actually is not 0 it's 1 I'm sorry I think I made a mistake here this is right here is equal to 1 so we get limit as h goes to 0 we get uh, this is sine of x times 0 plus cosine of x times 1 so this is equal to just cosine of x okay so the derivative of the sine function d over dx of sine of x equals cosine of x okay so this is the final result we found out using the definition of derivative now I'm gonna use this uh, right here and we're gonna apply the chain rule so here we have d over dx of sine of u equals sine uh, cosine of u times du over dx okay so we apply chain rule if we are taking the sine of some function then we have to multiply at the end the derivative of the function as well for example if we have sine of uh, 3x squared okay we want to take the derivative of this function d over dx of this function then we can apply this uh, chain rule here that would be the derivative of sine of u is cosine of u times du over dx so u is right here this right here that's the u so we write it as cosine of 3x squared okay this u 3x squared times the derivative of u which is 3x squared now we can go ahead and simplify this this is cosine of 3x squared times the derivative of 3x squared is just 6x okay so this is the derivative of this function 3 sine of 3x squared using the chain rule so hopefully this helps um, just practice a few times and that will improve your uh, skills about taking the derivative of sine function so if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you